What is Script Console in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.2. I'm going to be referring to some documentation throughout this video. The link to that documentation is down in the description. So what is Script Console? Well, if we take a look at the documentation for Script Console, what it says is that there is a Script Console within Jenkins that allows us to run arbitrary scripts within the, either the Jenkins controller or the agents that are connected to the controller. The easiest way to understand this is to actually go and do it. Now, in order to be able to do this, you must have administrative privileges on the controller. So let's go to our controller, click on Manage Jenkins. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Script Console. Now, for running a script within the controller, notice how it calls out running the script. It's useful for troubleshooting and diagnostics. You want to use the print line command to see the output. If you use system out, it's going to go to the server standard out, which might be harder to get to, or you may not even be able to get to that at all. So let's go ahead and take this example that's right here, and we'll copy and paste this down and put it into the text area. Now note here that all the classes from all the plugins are visible. However, Jenkins star, Jenkins model star, Hudson star, and Hudson model star are all pre-imported, so I don't have to add in an import statement for this. So I know that this Jenkins object that I'm accessing is part of Jenkins. So it's just being automatically imported for me. And I'm saying for the instance, get the plugin manager and list out all the plugins. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see a run button. So let's click on that. And if we take a look at the output for the result, we see a list of all the plugins that are installed on this controller. Now to do the same thing on an agent, what we need to do is we need to go into the agent. So I'll go ahead and click on agent one. Notice that there is a script console link on the left nav. This script console link is for this agent, not for the controller or any other agents. So it's specifically for this one agent. So let's go ahead and click into this. And we can see the script console looks pretty similar, but it gives us some different examples, which we'll run in just a moment. Again, we have the exact same imports by default. So let's go ahead and copy both of these lines. And let's paste it down in the body. And what it's going to do is it's going to print line out the path environment variable. And then in the second line, we're running a uname A to get the information from that. And we're pulling the text attribute off of the output from running this shell command. So let's go ahead and click on run. And if we take a look at the output, we'll see that our path variable is user local bin and user bin. And we can also see from uname A the output from that command. Now you may have heard of the version node monitors plugin. And what this plugin does is it gives you information about the agent within the area of the nodes. So we would actually see a couple of extra columns here, one that has the remoting version and also one that has the Java version. But let's say for a moment, I did not want to install that plugin. What we can do is we can actually run a script that will give us the same type of information. Now, where can you pick up some scripts? Well, if you go back over to the documentation for Script Console, if you scroll down to the section of Example Groovy Scripts, you'll see some references to different repositories for these scripts. We're going to go into the Jenkins scripts repository under the scriptler directory. So in this case, we're going to Jenkins CI, Jenkins scripts. And notice that we're within the scriptler directory. I want to go down to the one script named check node launcher version. So the output from this is very similar to what we see within our version node monitors plugin. However, it's not going to show up in the section where the plugin renders this is going to be within the script console. So I'm going to go ahead and click on raw and I'm going to copy this script. We'll go back over to our controller. Now I want to run this on the controller. So I'll go to manage Jenkins. I'll go down to script console. I'm going to paste in the script. We'll take a quick look at it, but this is just similar for any of the other scripts as well. What I'm saying here is I'm wanting to get the information from the controller itself. So I always expect to have the agent version to match from the controller down to all the agents. I also expect as a best practice that the version of Java that's running my Jenkins controller is the same version of Java that's running my agent process. That's just best practice. You want to keep your agent version and your Java version matching. So then we connect up to all of the computers that get computers, those are our agents, and we find any of the ones that are connected, mark those as agents. We can see if it's disconnected, and then we also see our versions for both Java and for our agent. So let's just go ahead and run this. So you'll notice here on this controller, I actually have two agents. I have an agent one and agent two. 
When I click Run for this, and I go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, notice here for the controller, I'm expecting agent version 3107 and then a string here. I'm also expecting to see on the agents Java version 11.0.19, because that's the version of Java that's running the controller. So if we take a look at the output for node agent one, we see an OK. Now from our script, what we'll see here is that if everything is OK, it just prints out OK. Well, what that means is that the version of the agent matches. So in this case, we're doing a not check that then tells us an expected. Same thing with the Java version. If it doesn't match, then we're going to get an error message for that. But since both of those matched, both the agent version and the Java version were matching, then the output for agent one is OK. But notice the output for agent two. It says the expected Java version was 11.019. However, we received Java version 17.0.7. .7. Notice that we did not receive a message about the agent version. So since I didn't receive any information about the agent version, I know the agent version matches. But since the Java version doesn't match, then it gives us a warning saying those don't match. And then at that point, I would decide, what do I want to do? Do I want to go ahead and resolve it? Or is everything OK and I can just leave it? That would be up to me. This is just one example of how you can use the script console to troubleshoot and diagnose problems that may exist within the context of your Jenkins controller. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.